Josh Turner. Thank you so much. Well, welcome to the Bing Lounge, man. Good to be here at the Bing Lounge. Uh, somebody either is really enjoying this or used herbal essence as shampoo this morning. One of, one of those two things happened that there. That was me, actually. Now, <laughs> so uh, I had planned on doing this whole interview in a lower octave, but when I do that, I sound like the <laughs> teacher from Charlie Brown, so I'm not going to do that. Um, what was it like for you when you first hit that, you know, voice changing from, you know, eight, seven, six, five years old to what you got today? Well, I, it was the second time I went through puberty um, <laughs> when, it, when it happened. Um, it was kind of a life-changing moment. Though. Um, people always ask me, like, when did your voice change? And there wasn't really a specific moment. It was actually kind of uh, hard-earned uh, for me because back in 96, which I guess was my senior year of high school, I, I uh, basically injured my voice. I had a lesion on my right vocal cord and uh, basically ended up with the injury because I didn't know there was a proper way to sing. I just thought people, you know, were born and they sang and that was it. Um, but uh, I learned the hard way. Uh, basically, you know, every bad singing technique you can imagine, I was doing it. Um, and so I had to learn how to basically sing and, and even speak, you know, all over again. And so uh, unfortunately my first trip to Nashville was to the Vanderbilt voice clinic. And, um, and so that kind of set me off on a journey of, you know, classical vocal training and, you know, going to Belmont and furthering that. And then, um, you know, just watching my voice heal. And as it started to heal and as I started to learn how to use it, uh, it just got bigger and stronger and richer. And, you know, my range got a lot wider and, and I just started noticing that this was, a blessing in disguise because you know prior to that i sounded more like mickey mouse so yeah. <laughs> i think uh this is definitely uh, the latter better than the former yeah uh, has paid off for your career just know, a little bit mickey did pretty ten. good for himself I, you know. <laughs> okay <laughs> second to mickey mouse josh turner uh, <laughs> yeah. um let's talk about punching bag of course huge album for you uh in is there a number six on the way? Are we working on that right now? Yeah, I've been writing since January, I guess, if not before. Um, just been listening to songs. Just uh, this this album process kind of has snuck up on me a little bit, so it's been somewhat of a challenge to try to figure out where I'm at creatively and what I want to say, and you know, just what's coming out. So the first, I don't know, I guess first ten or twelve songs that I've written were just kind of like, eh, yeah. You know, it, it was just kind of like you know, just clearing my system of, of you know songs and just trying to figure out what what's going on in my head and in my heart and um so you know but since then I, I feel like I've tried to kind of hone in on on where I'm at and um I'm still not quite there but the, the songs are starting to come in and um you know people always for whatever reason they always ask what's this next album gonna be called and I'm like I don't know you know it's just uh, the songs to me are really what define each record you know I, I can't i don't set out and say i'm gonna make this kind of record um because i mean you just can't do that because you never know what songs are going to be you know coming in never know what songs you're going to write and um so it's just kind of a natural process anytime i've ever tried to force the songwriting process or the record making process it, it it'll you know turn around and bite you real quick so two sold out shows this weekend at chinook winds last night you got one tonight uh, talk about the trip getting here and how that happened oh uh, it was it was awesome uh, y'all were gracious enough to send a, a helicopter to get me so um it was uh, pretty cool and I've, I've been on helicopters before and it's uh hey if, if i could afford it that'd be the way i would travel all the time um especially on a day like today it's beautiful weather and, and it was like 36 minutes to get here and um you know it would have been taken what two and a half hours about to two drive hours it. yeah two and a half Something hours like, that. like today so, yeah, uh, yeah I, I, i'll prefer the chopper <clears throat> was it a smooth ride was the pilot satisfactory everything was good pilot was great and okay the, the chopper was comfortable and everything we stopped at buffalo wild wings on the way here and <laughs> so how about uh, a round of applause yeah. for chinook wins for allowing this to happen today that's uh and you got another show tonight, two sold out shows. Um, what's your pre show routine? What do you like to do to get pumped up? Um, man, it's pretty boring, actually. Um, I'm, I'm always watching my Atlanta Braves on, on TV during this time of year. So, I, you know, that's uh, kind of where I go, you know, because so, if I get to thinking about the show too much, I kind of jinx myself. But uh, my schedule is always pretty much the same. It's like if the show is at eight o'clock, then I'm I'm gonna start you know I'm probably gonna eat around six and I'm gonna start getting ready around seven and then I'm 
good to go by eight and uh you know just make sure i do my vocal warm-up and i'm i'm good to go so. well enough of this uh, vocal warm-up interview i'm gonna let you play a little bit more but i have a very uh, important thing this is a very serious serious uh fill in the blank if you don't mind finishing the sentence okay i wish i was a girl because well wow. I wish I was a girl because I would understand the way girls think. Give it up one more time for Josh Turner with the ball here at the Big Lounge.